Welcome to my Big IPL Team Training Series. My name is Trevor. An event is an internal state a session goes through as it's being processed by the Big IP. I rules utilize these events so that they can be triggered at the appropriate time and accurately execute code. In I rules, you can design them to have one or more events. You really start to see the benefit to event driven logic when you start utilizing more than one event inside of an I rule. If the entire I rule, for example, is 40 lines long, but with multiple events inside of it, only the code block associated to that event that occurred is executed versus the entire script in the I rule running. An example of this is the following. Let's say an I rule existed on a production VIP, and inside of that it said when HTTP request, and whenever this event occurred, 20 lines of tickle code would happen. And then when HTTP response occurred, 20 lines of tickle code would also occur. The entire I rule is 40 lines of code, however only 20 lines will be executed whenever an HTTP request or an HTTP response occurs. With event driven programming, the entire script does not have to be executed each time, only the relevant code block. 20 lines of code may not seem like a lot in this example, but keep in mind this logic may need to potentially be executed tens of thousands of times a second in a production environment. When you think about execution time in a larger scale, the savings event-driven logic offers provides a large performance boost for the Big IP. Thank you for watching. Please click on the link in the description below to see the entire Big IP LTM training series playlist, or go to trevortraining.com for more videos.